Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will look at some more use cases that are associated with the sales process. Now that we have already looked at how you can create sales quotations, sales invoices, how you can capture payment against the sales invoices. Now we will look at how you can manage use cases where people are paying you in advance or you're issuing credit notes to your customers. Let's first look at how you can capture advance payments coming from individuals or companies. Let's go to accounting, deposit, and we'll click on create advance payment. Let's select a contact, the payment details, let's select bank transfer as a payment method, reference number and the account. in the amount as 1500 we can save this now once this has been saved let's go to sell let's raise an invoice for the same customer let's click on new invoice let's select a customer let's select some products Let's save this invoice now. Now once the invoice has been saved and you click on get paid. On this screen, if there are any advanced payments that this customer has made you, you will be able to see this option called advanced payment. Let's toggle this and enable this. You can see that the advanced payment that we had captured for 1500 rupees is showing up over here. Now in case you want to adjust this while capturing payment, you can simply check mark. You can change the amount in case that's required. So we are adjusting the advance of 1500 that we had already received. The difference is auto captured over here. You can select the payment method for the remaining amount that you're getting from the customer. It can be check or bank transfer, you can key in the check details, click on next. You can see a summary of how the payment has come. So this mentions that you had captured a check for 7910 and there was an adjustment of advance for 1500. We click on receive. Once you receive, you can also print this and share with your customers. Let's close this. You will notice the invoice has been marked as fully paid. Let's look at the second use case. Let's raise an invoice for this. Let's select the same customer. Let's add some product or services. Let's key in 50,000. Let's save this. The invoice has been saved. Now in case you had already issued a credit note to the customer or you issue a credit note at a later date due to some reason. You can always adjust this as well. Let's create a credit note first. We go to accounting, credit note, create credit note. Let's select this customer. Let's add the account. Let's say sales return. Let's key in the amount as 3000. Let's select the tax as well. Let's click on save. Now once we've created a credit note, we can go back to the invoice and adjust the credit note against the invoice. In order to do that, 
let's click on invoices let's click on get paid similar to what we saw earlier if there are any credit notes that need to be adjusted against the invoices of a particular customer you will see the option of credit note as well let's enable this we can see the credit note that we had just created let's check mark this you can adjust the entire amount or the partial amount you will notice the difference is again auto populated over here let's select the payment type let's check a bank transfer let's click on next you will again see a summary of the amount of payment that was made directly and any adjustments so in this case the adjustment was done via credit note you click on receive once you receive this you can again print this and share it with the customers close this you will notice the status of this invoice is marked as complete when you go back to the credit note you will also notice that you can track the linked invoices from here so once you click on this icon you will see the invoice number you can click on this view the invoice in the invoice itself you will notice the various payment records that is the direct payment and the credit note are also shown on the right hand side so this way you can create advanced payments credit notes and adjust them against invoices while capturing payments in case you want to only adjust these and not capture the payment you can simply disable the top section how do we do that let's go back to invoices Let's click on get paid. Now in case you want to only adjust an advance payment or a credit note, simply disable the payment detail section, enable the credit note, select the credit notes that you want to adjust and click on next. So this is for all those use cases wherein you want to only adjust the credit note or advance payment and see the resultant value. You can click on next and also receive this. You will notice in this case the payment status becomes partial. Whenever you get the remaining payment, you can capture that at a later date.